this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to update your plugins on your website. So as you can see I'm logged in here to the WordPress uh, dashboard area and I'm using the website Unclutter Your Life as an example. So um, going to Unclutter Your Life you can see that there's a few different updates that are due on this website. Once you're in the actual um, <coughs> Uh, dashboard for uh, WordPress, you can see just here that there's six updates that are due. So whenever you see that number, you should really just click on that and just go and have a look and see what needs to be updated. Now if you have more than one update that needs to be done, I'd highly suggest doing it one at a time and just making sure that the update doesn't cause any problems with your website. So I think of this as a little bit like updating your software, whether you're using say Microsoft Word or, or Windows and you might have a new version and you need to update that, but sometimes it doesn't play nicely with the other software on your computer and plugins are just like that. So when you see that you need to update a plugin, you've got more than one, I just suggest doing the one. Okay, so as you can see, we've got these here that have come up to be uh, uh, updated. So I'm going to click on Facebook members and I'm just going to run this and say update plugins. Now I've only selected one there, so it should only do the Facebook members one. And so for, for each update that you run, it's really worthwhile just going back and making sure that, that nothing's changed on your website. So we've run that, that update there. I'm going to go and click on, on the top left hand corner here to go back out and have a look at the website from the front end. And we can see that all looks okay. This is the actual plugin here, Facebook members, and it seems to be displaying okay. And if I just click on a couple of pages, we can see it, it all appears to be behaving as we would expect. So that all seems fine. So now I can go back to the dashboard area and then I can go into my updates area and then I can run my next update using exactly the same process.